Hi everyone, as you know, I'm Jim from Jim Shape Coding, and this is going to be the last tutorial that is going to deal with if statements. We are going to close it up with some advanced if statements and how you can make multiple of them so you can build more complex conditions. So let me just put up here two variables so we can describe some condition. And we have the age and the height variables over there. So let's just type in a condition like if age is greater than 21, then you can print some message. But for example, what is going to happen if I want to take an action only if the age is greater than 21 and the height is greater than 180. So what I can do is actually write here another if statement and going with something like if height is greater than 180. And then I can put out my print here and say you are old and tall. All right, and if I run this, I will get the result. But what happens now if I want to do something if age is greater than 21 or my height is greater than 180? So this not answer my condition. So therefore, we got some two important new keywords that Python allows us. And one of them is and and the second one is or. So if I want to take an action only if the age is greater than 21 and the height is greater than 180, I can hit here the end keyword and from here writing my second expression like this. And from here everything is pretty much the same. You have to hit the colon sign and you have to press enter and expect for that indentation. And now if this condition and this condition are both returning true, then Python is going to enter this area and execute the code right there. So I can write print you are both tall and old. And now if I run this, I'm going to get this message back. But let's say that this time I want to check if my age is greater than 30. And now if I run this, you bet that I won't get this message back because this is false and this is true and this is not enough for the end keyword. So in this case what I can do is changing the keyword that is actually connecting between those two conditions. And if I type in here the OR keyword and what OR is going to do is actually checking if this is true or this is true. And if only one of them is true, it is pretty much enough for Python to entering this area right there. So if I execute this, you bet that I get this message back. But this is not pretty much the output that I want to show right now because it is just not the right answer to my case. And I can write here something like you are tall or old because it's only one of them, all right? So if I change back this condition to age greater than 21, but let's say I'm changing the height to check over 190, I'm still going to get back this message because this is true and this is false and only one is enough for Python. So now let's just try one more example. And as you know, you can stop the video and try this by your own. So what we are going to do is clear the code here and then what I want to do is paste here a small task and I will explain what we have to do here. So basically we want to write a program that is going to ask user two questions and regarding to his answers we are going to write him some messages. So we want to ask the user if he is hungry and ask him also if he is on a diet plan. If he is not hungry and he is not on diet plan we are going to offer him a beer as you see and if he is not hungry and he is not on a diet plan then we are going to just offer him a water to drink. And now we have also two cases if the user is hungry so he might be on a diet plan or not and regarding to his answers we are going to offer him a pizza or a salad if he is also on a diet. So let's try to solve this. So we will start with hungry answer is equal to input 
and we will ask the user are you hungry and put the question mark and now what I want to do is to let the user know that only yes or no are the options for this question so answer with a letter of Y is going to be yes and answer with a letter of N is going to be no so we will put here those little signs so the user can understand that he can only put Y or N and then let's call the second one diet answer and make it also equal to input and ask this time are you on a diet plan and here also I'm going to put the y slash n and now what I want to do is if by mistake the user put in the capital Y so I want to handle it so I can catch all this input here as a string like this as you remember from our first tutorials and then what I can do is searching for the lower method then I get the lower pop up here and I can do the same thing with the second input and also change it to lower and now what I want to do is actually creating two more variables that they are going to return through or false so you remember how we created expressions that are stored only as true or false so this is what I'm going to do here and I'm going to call my variables is hungry like this so this is a convention how you store a boolean variable and also is on diet plan all right and the first one is actually going to be equal to some expression like this so if hungry answer is equal to y then i want it to return true so if i'm going to check hungry answer equals to y like this so if the user put in the y letter then this is going to be true therefore is hungry is equal to true and i can do the same trick also with the diet answer and i can go with diet answer equals to y also and now i am ready to continue to my complex if statement so we have four cases and the first case is going to handle if both answers are not true so if not is hungry diet plan doesn't matter and not is hungry and then i can print so if the user is not on a diet plan and is not hungry then we are going to offer him a beer so let's print have a beer all right let's put this back here so what i want to do now is continuing on to my conditions and i can use the else if statement here to handle more situations that i want to so i can go now with handling the is on diet plan and not is hungry and what I can do now is actually offer him a a water yes we want to offer him have a water like this this is the message we want to output so another else if right there and now we can handle not is on diet plan and is hungry then I want to offer him a pizza and the last one is going to be if he is on a diet plan and also is hungry then I want to offer have a salad have a salad like this all right so I think this is pretty much it let's try to execute this program and see what we get back so we will try for the first case both Y so let's put in Y here and on a diet plan let's put Y also and then we can get back the salad as we wanted let's try the other three cases there so Y and N all right we have a pizza and now let's change from hungry to no and in diet plan yes all right i'm getting a water and the last one is going to be both n and then i can have a beer so just for making sure that i got right the lower method let's put in capital y here and capital y there and as you see i still have a salad so this is pretty much it about the if statements all right on the next one we are going to learn about something called lists don't forget to crack the subscribe button and also like this video i will see you in episode 15